Hello, people. How are we doing? It's me, Brian Daigle, here for a Tottenham World Tour special. <laughs> Just to go through, yes, another day in paradise at the shit show that is Tottenham Hotspur. And Juma has had more managers than starts at Tottenham Hotspur. Richarlison has had more managers than Premier League goals at Tottenham Hotspur. Lots to talk about. Rants confirmed. Let's get this show on the road. Tottenham on tour. So, yesterday's news. And then there were none. We started with the Italian job. Antonio Conte, his assistant, Stellini, and our director of football, Paratici. <laughs> In the space of a season, they have, they've gone. That's it. Zero. Conte left for telling the truth or sacked. For telling the truth, Paratici resigned because we didn't sack him, although I think he was told to resign to get some money. Alleged, or that's my opinion, because um, he is co corrupt and his two-year ban stood. <laughs> and um, Stellini quit yesterday or was sacked. And we're going to get into uh, what... Daniel said, Mr. Mr. Open Up and Friendly Daniel said momentarily, but let's talk about this. Um, Stellini was set up for failure. Conte was set up for failure. Pochettino was set up for failure. Jose Mourinho was set up for failure. AVB was set up for failure. I could go on and on. Martin Yol, I will never forget that man. Martin Yol was set up for failure. So when it comes to Stellini, what did you what did we all expect? What did Daniel and I'm gonna call him Daniel during this uh because that's what he likes to be called apparently right now. Um what was he expected? Who in their right mind sacks a manager but keeps their backroom staff? Tottenham Hotspur. I, 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 I just Ryan Mason. <laughs> Ryan Mason is in charge. I said it on We Are Tottenham TV that um, give him a go, give him a go. Just get him. at least he's got Spurs in his heart, Spurs in his blood. And his first game is Manchester United. So, so he had to manage Manchester City in an FA Cup final, uh, Carabao Cup final after after a, a, a win against Sheffield uh, against Southampton. Well, now he's got Manchester United, <laughs> a trip to Anfield. He's got to go to Villa Park, play a resurgent Crystal Palace, Brentford, and then away to Leeds, who are probably uh, going to be fighting for their lives, and these players can't handle pressure. So, uh, Stellini... What can we do with this? What can we do? Um, he's gone. I don't know where we go. I don't know who we're going to bring in. Um, the football was diabolical. Listen, he had to go. He had to go. The fact we had to wait a day to find that out baffles me. Baffles me. But he's gone. So the Italian job... It's no more. It's absolutely done. End of. Speak to you later. Ta-da. Bye. Um, what can we say on that note? So, uh, Stellini, thank you. Or whatever we want to say. But uh, we're down to zero. Daniel. Coys. Coys. <laughs> 
Holy crap! This man, this man who tries to make it more personal because he likes to be called Daniel now. Um, I've said it on a few streams. When Daniel said Coys, it didn't stand for Come on You Spurs. It stood for Cambridge Oh Yes Study. This man is just so out of touch with reality. I'm not going to bring that statement up, but what I am going to talk about this bloody statement is uh, he says in this statement, ultimately the responsibility falls on me. Full stop. The very next sentence is Christian Stellini will no longer be manager, or words to that effect. So you say the fault is all yours, and in the next sentence, he's fucked up, he's gone. <laughs> I just don't know what to say or do. Or I, do I, I know exactly what to say and exactly what to do. Sorry, but that's really, really bad choice of words. How can you actually uh, deal with... How can you actually say these things? How can you actually think you must employ people that know how to write a statement, that know what to do or how to act? You're either not listening, and I can remember people saying in tweets or whatever... The, the, the board are too scared to say anything to you because you're wrong, because you don't listen. Or your ego is just getting the better of you because you have completely lost, again, your own consequences are coming back to bite you in the ass, And everything you do is coming back tenfold because of someone you fucked over or something you did wrong or something you did or didn't say. And after all this, you come out and say, guys, Daniel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't wait. I honestly, I cannot wait for Thursday. Honestly, Daniel. Thursday is going to be one hell of a night for Levy out. One hell of a night for people that want change. A hell of a night in front of the cameras. A hell of a night where if all things go to plan, you are in a world of trouble, in a world of problems that you have self-inflicted on yourself. And part of that, is due to the new manager search. Now, on the new manager search, I've heard Vincent Company is uh, is uh, is on the list. Obviously, for what he's done at Burnley, a fantastic job. But some of the words coming out of the press is because you think he can emulate what Mikel Arteta is doing at Arsenal. Well, last time Tottenham Hotspur tried that, they got Arsene Wenger, we got Christian Gross. How'd that work out? The last time Tottenham Hotspur tried to imitate a manager, it was that time period. So, we don't really have a good track record of doing that. And do you know what I'm sick and tired of? Hire a manager because of their attributes and what they bring to the club not what is going on down the road and they may be able to imitate that you remind me of when i started growing up and shaving and started to go out and uh go to, to go around to a friend's house where there were girls there and everything or or start going to to, to nightclubs or, or or junior discos whatever and you wanted to start wearing aftershave to smell nice and Growing up in my time, showing my age, the two top aftershaves that people were wearing were Fahrenheit and cool water. It's like, Mum, Dad, can I have some Fahrenheit and cool water? They go, You're not working, you can't, you can't, leave it with me. And they go to the nearest market and buy you a cheap knockoff that smells like it for about 30 seconds and then goes stale. 
Well, we're the cheap aftershave down the market. Hire a manager that suits the club, whose attributes work for what we want to do. Not, oh, look, they hired a young, inexperienced manager, and now look what they're doing. They're doing it because the board listened to them. They're doing it because the board back him. The board, are do, they are doing it because when it comes to £350,000 uh, a, a, a week uh, contracts in Ozil and Abamyang, when the manager says they're bad eggs, fuck them off. They do that. They do it. Are you going to, Daniel? If Vincent Company says, get Eric Dyer out of this fucking squad now. Get rid of this one, this one, this one. You're going to go? Okay, they're gone. Don't think so, Daniel. Luis Enrique. <laughs> Great manager. Worked with elite, world-class players. Brought in world-class, elite players. Could it happen to Spurs? No. ITK said everyone say Nagelsmann. Some even put a German flag on a white ball. Well, now he favours Chelsea. But it doesn't matter if he gets Chelsea because, as I said, your own actions are coming back to bite you in the arse. Because, guess what? Pochettino's going to Chelsea. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you now, on record, I will not boo Poch. I'll be pissed off he's gone. Never want to see an expert manager work out at Chelsea or go to Chelsea, but we never have that luxury or or or, or worry, not luxury, worry of seeing that because who in their right mind would want to manage? Or oh, Chelsea, but Poch, you had months, 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 months where you could have made that call, but you didn't because, you know, you'd be proved wrong. You've had months and months or, or weeks and weeks and, and fans have been singing for him. Did you listen? No, 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 no. You know best. You know best, Daniel. So here we are again. Merry go round, loop de loop. Say to Ben Daniel from We Are Tottenham TV, we both use another day in paradise. There's a theme tune he uses, and I think Spurs against Manchester United need to drop the iconic Star Wars music. And they need to come out to because we're a circus. Tottenham Hotspur Football Circus. Well done, Daniel. Media speaks. And oh, boy, are they. Boy, are they. Jamie O'Hara, the usual suspects, but Jermaine Pennant, ex-Arsenal, are saying it. Everywhere you go right now, Every single media source and outlet cannot get away from the fact of Levy out. Has exploded. Has exploded into life. And it's everywhere now. It's everywhere. So this is what is going to be happening. Obviously... I, I, Daniel Levy must be getting up this morning. Sorry, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. And I liken it to, do you remember when Jose Mourinho in the uh, documentary All or Nothing, when he heard the media talking about him on Sky Sports News, went up to the TV and went, fuck off. That's Daniel right now. Because no matter what radio he turns on, if it's a sports radio show or, 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 or channel or Sky Sports News or has his spies and his media team looking at what's going on. <laughs> he can't get away from it. And I have to say to everyone on Twitter at the moment, from me, I bloody applaud you because I went on Twitter last night and people were sending it to me. Everything they do, there is just one picture with Levy out constantly. And I mean, it's not even, it's everyone channeling under the same. He, even the social media team are aware of it. And this is where we're at. This is where we're at. So uh, the world is, uh, everywhere we go, the media are talking about this. There is no uh, getting away from it. And uh, it's all building up 
to this huge, huge, huge crescendo. And I do mean huge. I do mean huge. Um, so we're getting to the last bit now. And the last bit is all about protest, protest, protest. It's happening Thursday. I'm going to share the photo again. I'm going to share the photo again. Thursday, around 5.30. Now, listen, people get there wherever they can. We will be there for only about 4.30, setting the banners up. Get there whenever you can. Whenever you can. Because it's going to be loud outside. It's going to be loud inside. This is the one chance. BT are there. Everyone is there. And just to show... I'm just going to play a video from a channel that is very, very close to my heart. The two boys are family to me. I love them dearly. And we've needed big channels to come out and speak. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to give you what Ben said on one of the shows on We Are Tottenham TV yesterday. It's a minute long. I think the fans need to make their voices heard. I really do. I'm, I'm so convinced of it. And... People need to stop mocking protests and stop mocking these people trying to make their voices heard and join them and really um, make your voices heard in and out of the stadium at any point um, kind of warranted because if the fans don't make their feelings heard, then nothing will ever change. Yes, it might be even a shot in the dark and it might be kind of over over the odds the odds might be too big like even if you do make your voices heard that there won't be change but at least if you do make your voices heard there's a chance of it because if you don't make your voices heard there ain't no chance of it whatsoever so me personally i'm going to be there on thursday at the protest to make my voice heard um in a peaceful and polite manner and i urge all of you guys to come and join us or me and um and make your voices heard because it's it, enough is enough right now, and I've had enough of it. So, what I would do want to say very, very quickly before I go in on this with We Are Tottenham TV. A lot of people say, why aren't We Are Tottenham TV getting involved? Why aren't We Are Tottenham TV doing enough? Why aren't t t we, are Tottenham t uh, we Are Tottenham TV making it more public? Now, a lot of people will think I'm saying this because of pure bias and my love for that channel, those boys. And I do. I, I, I absolutely love those boys. They they literally, if it, they, they, I've said this before when I discussed my mental health, they changed my life or certainly helped change my life because during COVID and when things have been tough, they've always been there as an outlet, as a channel. They've always been there as an outlet in friendship and brotherhood. No matter what, and that goes for Ashley, Grandpa, their brothers, their sisters, every, the whole family. That They are incredible. And people like, I get back to this now because I always do this when I speak about them. I go on about my love for that channel and the boys. People that say they don't do enough. If it wasn't for We Are Tottenham TV, I never would have had a voice. If it wasn't for them constantly allowing me on, and you go back and check the, 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 the videos, every time that I've been on, or since I've been on, it's been leave you out, 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 and on and on and on and on and on and on. Bob Spur, Stell, Iggy, Will, uh, Rez, Nick, uh, Braids, Jory, Daddy Kiriaku, Ryan Isaacs, Ben Kaufman, I can keep naming people. Ashmatic, sorry if I've left anyone out. I really do apologise. Um, they were all given that voice and then have branched off to their own channels or done whatever because We Are Tottenham TV allowed them to come on and have that voice. Other channels won't even talk about it or wouldn't talk about it till now. Stelios and I with Tottenham Away when we started it and obviously Bright Island and Shy, Iggy, JP, we were always talking about it. I was always talking about it. And now it's everywhere. Everywhere. So, Ben, 
obviously he said that yesterday. I, I spoke to Ben yesterday and he was like, let me know what's going on. I'll, I'll, I'll do my bit and he'll be doing more during this week. They are the behemoth of a channel. And they've come out and put their, and said where they'd be. So one big channel, and it is the behemoth, has come out and said, I will be at the protest. We will be at the protests. This is our chance. The cameras are there. The game is united again. Who will be singing Glazers out, having reached an FA Cup final, winning a uh, League Cup and going for the Champions League. Whilst we sit here with our third manager, hoping to qualify for any European competition, with our star striker probably leaving, the, the team in complete disarray, I don't know what else there is to say about how important Thursday is. I understand people may not be able to get there because it's a Thursday and you're coming from work and you you got to get your kids or you want something to eat and you can't physically make the protest. But if you can't and you're in that ground, make some noise. You won't be singing Mauricio Pochettino. Don't start singing anti-songs about him. Halfway line. On the west stand, in the director's part, there is someone that needs to get all the focus and attention from minute one to minute 90. No matter if we're winning, losing or drawing, this is the time, this is the moment to protest, protest, protest. And we have to do this. So please, like I've said, I don't care what you think about me or how you perceive me, or how you receive me, or whatever way you want to put it. I don't care. I, I don't. If you leave me out, I, I don't put it, sorry. If you leave me out and you come over, let's break bread. Let's just say, do you know what? I don't like the way you do things, but I'm with you. I'm with you. Because it doesn't matter what we need to do now. This is all for the love of this football club. This is all... Because I want to be able to tell my nephews and my niece the stories that my grandpa and my dad have told me about trophies, about glory, about history making. It's all about Thursday. It's all about protest, protest, protest. And on that note, I'll let you know that... Uh, Cockle Doodle Doo will be uh, on tomorrow and it will be with the legendary Matt from Talk Sport. So keep your eyes peeled. Everyone, thank you for listening. Please leave your comments. It's taken me ages to get back to them, so please bear with me, but I will get back to them. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, Levy out.